Have you ever watched the TV series Dragnet from 1951? Perhaps it was your introduction to the classic police procedural drama. This iconic show, known for its straightforward storytelling and realistic portrayal of law enforcement, featured the talented Jack Webb in the lead role. Did you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor in this series? Jack Webb's portrayal of Sergeant Joe Friday was certainly a standout performance, but the show featured a host of other talented actors who left a mark on the world of television. Before we delve into some random facts about the show, we'd like to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Dragnet? We're eager to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's uncover some intriguing tidbits about this timeless series. Did you know that Dragnet was one of the earliest police procedurals on television, setting the standard for the genre? Its documentary-style approach and use of actual LAPD case files contributed to its unique and lasting appeal. Dragnet, the 1951 TV series, holds a unique place in television history. One notable fact is that the show had a series of partner changes early on. Art and Yarborough, one of the original partners, tragically passed away just five days after filming the second episode. Another partner, Barney Phillips, had a habit of wetting his lips, which was distracting for viewers. Herbert Ellis, who was never intended to be a permanent partner, was quickly removed from the show for looking too much like Joe Friday. Ironically, Ben Alexander, who later became Friday's permanent partner, initially only wanted to do one episode of the series. In addition to its intriguing cast changes, Dragnet also made history by being the first American import shown on ITV in the United Kingdom. It premiered on September 23, 1955, on the channel's second day of broadcast. Another interesting tidbit is that much of the series was shot at the Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, California. This unusual collaboration came about because Jack Webb, the show's creator, agreed to finance the construction of live-action sets for Disney's production company in exchange for their use. Dragnet remains a classic in the world of television, known for its unique blend of police procedural drama and its influence on the genre for years to come. In 1951, the TV series Dragnet made its debut. It was a notable show in the history of American television. One interesting fact about this series is that it ran concurrently with the radio program of the same name for a time. This means that while people could tune in to listen to Dragnet on the radio, they could also watch it on television. This was a unique situation, as TV adaptations of radio shows were quite common, but having both run simultaneously was less typical. Dragnet left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment and showcased a different way of presenting a popular show to the audience. Dragnet was a 1951 TV series that featured Raymond Burr playing the real-life LAPD chief of detectives Thad Brown. This show was known for its straightforward portrayal of police work and was often spoofed in Mad Magazine as Dragnet. During its second season, the show had to air on alternate weeks because Barton Yarborough who played Friday's original partner Ben Romero, had passed away. This change caused some strain on the filming schedule, leading to several cast changes until Ben Alexander took over the role of Friday's new partner, Frank Smith. Dragnet remains a classic in the world of police procedural television. In 1951, a TV series called Dragnet made its debut, leaving a lasting mark on the world of television. The show's semi-documentary style was inspired by the film noir classic He Walked by Night, in which Jack Webb played a forensic chemist. Technical advisor Sergeant Marty Wynn, a Los Angeles Police Department officer, suggested to Webb that he do a radio series based on the work of the LAPD. Hence, Dragnet, the radio series, debuted in 1949. Hang Busters ran on alternate weeks with Dragnet on NBC on Thursday nights for a little more than a season. Notably, Gangbusters was the highest-rated show at the time NBC decided to cancel it, in favor of airing Dragnet Weekly. The show's impact was significant enough that in 2009, the U.S. Postal Service issued a commemorative postage stamp honoring Dragnet as one of the early USA television programs. This stamp features a picture of the star, Jack Webb, as Sergeant Joe Friday. Dragnet became a pivotal part of early television history and an enduring symbol of crime drama on the small screen.
1951 TV series Dragnet is known for its distinctive features. One interesting aspect of the show is that in reruns, it was titled Badge 714 to distinguish it from first run episodes. This practice was common in early television, and it aimed to help viewers differentiate between reruns and new episodes. A similar example can be seen in the Andy Griffith show, which ran reruns as Andy of Mayberry. In the DVD packages of Dragnet, some episodes are still titled Badge 714. This unique approach to titling reruns added to the show's legacy. In the early 1950s, the TV series Dragnet made a mark in television history. The show, created by and starring Jack Webb, focused on the crime-solving efforts of LAPD detectives. It gained initial production time when Chesterfield Cigarettes financed an anthology series titled Chesterfield Presents in early 1952. This financial support allowed the show to continue even after the sudden death of Barton Yarborough shortly after Dragnet's initial broadcast. Dragnet set the standard for police procedural dramas and introduced the famous catchphrase, Just the Facts, Mom. The show's straightforward storytelling and emphasis on realism resonated with viewers, making it a significant influence on the crime drama genre. It ran for several years and even inspired a 1954 movie based on the show, which was written by Richard L. Breen, who wrote his only episode for the series titled Dragnet, The Big Little Jesus. The series featured an array of characters, and most titles prominently showcased the color orange in the wardrobe, from tangerine to burnt pumpkin, and bright as dick gold. This distinctive visual style was worn by both men and women, showcasing a range of skin tones. In conclusion, Dragnet was a groundbreaking TV series of its time, known for its no-nonsense approach to crime solving and its iconic catchphrase. It received vital financial support from Chesterfield Cigarettes, allowing it to continue its run despite unexpected challenges. Its influence on the crime drama genre and the spin-off movie highlight its enduring impact on television history. The badges and identification cards used in the 1951 TV series Dragnet were genuine Los Angeles Police Department items. This added an authentic touch to the show, making it feel like a real-life police procedural. The use of actual LAPD badges and ID cards contributed to the series' overall realism. Additionally, it's interesting to note that the badge number of the main character, Sergeant Joe Friday, in Dragnet was the same as the number of Babe Ruth's career home runs in the major leagues. This number was 714. After Jack Webb, the actor who played Friday, passed away, the LAPD retired this badge number in his honor, highlighting the impact of the show on both the character and the actor. Furthermore, Dragnet had contributions from real-life police officers, including future Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry, who submitted story ideas for the series. This collaboration between law enforcement professionals and the entertainment industry brought an added layer of authenticity to the show's portrayal of police work. In conclusion, Dragnet was a groundbreaking TV series that used genuine LAPD items for its production, had a badge number with a unique connection to baseball legend Babe Ruth, and benefited from the input of real police officers like Gene Roddenberry. These elements combined to make Dragnet a standout show in the world of early television crime dramas. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the time-honored classic, Dragnet, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection to this iconic 1951 TV series. Just like the unwavering detectives Joe Friday and Frank Smith in their pursuit of justice, perhaps you've had your own moments of resolute determination inspired by their unyielding dedication to upholding the law. Did the show introduce you to the world of crime solving and law enforcement? Or did it serve as a backdrop to some cherished memories shared with friends or family members as you gathered around the television set in a bygone era? Dragnet has touched the hearts and minds of generations, and your memories and thoughts about it are a testament to its enduring impact. In a world that constantly evolves, it's remarkable how certain TV shows like Dragnet continue to resonate. So, why not share your favorite memories or reflections on this legendary series with others? Your stories may ignite a spark of nostalgia in someone else or introduce a new generation to the timeless appeal of Dragnet. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Dragnet. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, 
and your connection to this series adds to its rich tapestry of history and influence. So, remember, the files of your thoughts on Dragnet are always open, ready for your comments, and they'll be neatly organized, just as Joe Friday would want them.